Okay, so this is what's called a spun hair collar hackle. And what you want to do is get your thread started and bring it up to about a bodkin width behind the eye because that's where your head's going to go. Uh, next, you need to get some uh, hair. This is deer hair. You can use elk or whatever you want. And uh, you've got to kind of size it up, uh, stack it, clean it like you normally would. Uh, I'm just showing this in reference as to how much I'm using. Uh, so it's roughly the gap of the hook. Uh, I want to have it, um, as far as the flare goes, uh, about to the hook point. So this is going to de determine how, uh, what the height is of the hackle. And so next what I want to do is make sure my thread is spun up. I'm going to come over and do two loose pen traps. You can see that I've kind of helped compress by pushing down. And after my second loop, I'm going to start to flare open, let go, and let it spin. And I'm going to keep wrapping just to start tying everything in. Once this kind of stops moving, uh, that's where you stop it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to very quickly wrap through some hair to the back. I'm going to come in with, with my scissors and trim some of this stuff out. Now, after you've performed all this and you've shaped this hair to whatever, however you want it to look, at, at the slope, the angle, and everything, that's going to determine uh, or help determine the body that you're going to make because you're going to make the body first uh, after you've done this part. So I'm not going to make a whole fly here. I'm just showing you the technique. So I'm going to wrap back forward unwrap back to tie everything in and you should have something that's sticking out the front like this and it needs to be evenly distributed and so back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth until you have the profile uh, at this point what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and add your tail uh, you're going to build your body whatever it is you want to do this is this is a dry fly hackle technique with deer hair I should have probably said that first uh, so uh, next uh, you want to get your thread up right behind the hair you want to spin it to make sure that it's nice and spun up we don't want any flat thread here and then I kind of take a hollow big pin and start to tap a little bit just to kind of splay it around take your fingers move it around I can't uh, show you the view from the side but I'm just all I'm doing is opening up everything in different directions and uh, trying to get it to uh, what I call play nice but uh, this this at this point right here it gives you a chance to start to move everything around a little bit and so once your thread's nice and spun up and you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to start to wiggle our thread that's spun through. Now keep in mind, all your body and everything's already built. And I'm just going to kind of trap and collect hair, bring it forward a little bit, wiggle it. And what this does is, is it reinforces the uh, actual hackle part of it. Don't be afraid to go back. Uh, and it collects it and it starts to stiffen all these fibers up. Uh, if you need to, you know, kind of come in from the front and ram it a, a little bit more with the, um, something like the hollow pin just to keep it flowing, uh, that's totally cool. And we're just going to continue that process all the way around several times using our thread to maneuver grab tighten uh, all all of the above you can see I'm pulling to the back here just to collect it and get it get it to the back and we're just going to kind of keep working it until it starts to stand up And I'll bring in my hollow point again. See, it's wanting to stand up more now. 
so once you get to the uh, front side of all this I'm not gonna try to make it perfect here because it can it can take a minute um, but uh, once you get to the front side of all of your hair which I'm pretty much there what I like to do is I like to take my bodkin uh, that's got a hollow end I'll do a three turn half hitch on the bodkin stick it right into there and pull like that uh, I'll probably put two of these in typically uh, before I do a whip finish um, but each time you want to start to play and get this hair to kind of dance around a little bit and so I'll do another one real quick uh, and then the final one is typically a whip finish or uh, like, a, like a wet whip or I'll do uh, what you can do is take some super glue get a little bit on your thread right up right up close to the uh, hackle or the uh, deer here and take your bodkin I'll do up knock the light do another three Such a tight, kind of twist it all into place. Uh, and then actually at that point, you're probably pretty good. Now you can come in and kind of pick things apart where you want them to be. Uh, I'll go ahead and avoid the whip finish uh, just for time's sake. But So when you're done, you've got deer hair hackle. In this case, you could use elk or whatever. And as that glue is drying, tease this all out to right to where you want it to be. So that's it. That's how you do what's known as a spun hair collar hackle. Uh, this is for dry flies. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to get out of camera. Uh, it's a dry fly technique. Um, and have fun with it. It can be a challenge, so be prepared to uh, practice a little bit. Uh, I'll put this back in the vise real quick, so you can see it again from the side. There you go. A spun hair collar hackle. Happy tying, everybody. Take care.